Hey guys, Ralph here, True Power Trumpet Fitness, and welcome to Magnificent Monday. Anyway, you saw the thumbnail. Back to basics. It's been a while. It's been a while, and uh, we've been off on doing other things, all good stuff, but uh, I want to get back to it. I played a lot on Saturday, a couple hours, that's a lot for me, uh, about 20 minutes yesterday, and not a thing today. So let's see what we got. Anyway, felt awesome. Felt awesome. Anyway, um, yeah, the thumbnail. We haven't done anything really pedagogically. I looked back in the um, the archives a little bit. Went back in the the um, videos since August eighth. Guys, that's, uh, well, 10 days. Now, you know my theories, my theories on education, which I've been doing in the public school for 30 years. Uh, and I got my first trumpet students when I was 15 years old from my father. So I've been at this a long time, a long time, over 50 years. And I have come to the conclusion, it doesn't matter what the subject matter is, but repetition is it. I mean, if you go to, uh, you know, the Yeshiva University, you are studying a certain curriculum and, you know, there's so much um, um, memorization involved in all this sort of stuff. You go to the um, a Catholic school, uh, Catholic high school. What are you learning? You're learning the Bible and you're learning uh, over and over and over. You're learning, you know, Christ did it this way. You go to public school. It's a different curriculum already, but it is repetition. Uh, they don't do a lot of that anymore because I guess you're not supposed to. But back in the day, 2 plus 2 is 4. 2 times 4 is 8. I mean, you just memorized it over and over and over. Anyway, I do that with my students. I harp on certain things, and I just drum it into you until you're right. And I don't let people play a bad note. I stop them in the middle of a scale, whatever the case may be. It's got to be right. Now, the cornerstone, I'm not even going to say the cornerstone. I'm not sure which came first. All three are important. But I'll tell you what, and I've said this before, and I've said it in all my books. If you take nothing else from my books, my videos, my methods, whatever, if you take nothing else from it, if all you get is relax the corners, your playing is going to improve. I don't care if you're an orchestra player. I don't care if you are playing in a concert band. I don't play if you're playing lead trumpet. If you are, if you relax the corners, your playing is going to improve. Tone power range endurance is going to improve. Okay. The tongue is important. Overblowing or not overblowing is important too. We'll get that uh, to tomorrow and Wednesday in order. We'll put them all together. But if you get through with this, say, look, the guy's a nut. The guy's in that. I don't know how he's making those double C's, but you know what? He's crazy. If you just relax the corners, your playing is going to improve, and that is with a Bach mouthpiece or anything else you play. Okay? Now, with that said, you cannot just sit there with dormant chops and think that's going to be a double C. 
You can't. Do the corners have to be relaxed? Yes, but the tongue must, and we'll go into this more tomorrow, but the tongue must, must replace that relaxation with a compression that's going to hold the, the bottom lip and the top lip firm. It is not tight. It is not tight. I've done this before. Guys, what other trumpet player can spit buzz or, I'm not going to do it, I need more, is going to let somebody pull their chops away while they're playing and it doesn't affect the spit buzz. That is the firm compression of the strongest muscle in the body for our purposes, the tongue, and the complete relaxation of the corners. Okay? So you can't just sit there and think that's going to be it. That's a double C. No. Well, Ralph said relax. No, you have to replace it. We'll go into this more tomorrow. That's a double C. And that, folks, that is firm. That can take a punch. If I just did that on relaxed chops, I'd cut them. I'd cut them. Okay? Now, that keeping it relaxed is going to allow you not to abuse the chops. So there's nothing, so there's no sore or tight muscle to warm up. As you know, I don't warm up. And since it is relaxed, you don't have to tighten anything up to get the high notes. So again, less warm-up is needed. There's nothing to warm up. It's all relaxed. And the tongue, since it is so strong, can take all the compression, all the abuse, if you want to call it that. The tongue isn't getting abused. But all that abuse you used to put on your chops is now put on the, the load is put on the tongue. That sounded it's a Bach mouthpiece. It just happened to be there. I just grabbed one. This is listen to the difference. This is Jerry. <laughs> Guys, I'm not trying to do that. I'm not trying to prove a point anymore. But you hear the difference in the two? It's like night and day. And that is one of Jerry's old ones. Is his six. That is that is even a new one. <laughs> Guys must be relaxed. Get back to that until tomorrow. If you're not playing double C's, if you have the one SB and you're practicing and if you don't have double C's, just think about relaxing the corners until tomorrow. Okay? Guys, $10 for a book. It's all in there in book. You don't have to wait until tomorrow. My uh, double C manifesto and my true power to the max, my two method books, they are basically the same thing. The, um, the uh, stories and whatnot, how I got to that point surrounding the pedagogy itself is different from book to book. Okay? You know, the, the, the double C manifesto started when I was born in a manger wrapped in swaddling clothes. I'm exaggerating, but I got right to the beginning how I got in my, my association with Vacchiano back in Portland, Maine, all that sort of stuff. The true power of the max is more right to the pedagogy, but they were both terrific. Everything you need is right there. Get a 1SB, 1SC, or 1SS mouthpiece, or some of his other mouthpiece. Now, a lot of guys, a lot of guys are interested in more of the, the vintage Jerry mouthpieces, and I do have some of them. So if you go to the website, www.tpwr, that I put on the end of this, um, of this uh, video, and click on the mouthpiece, it gives a description of all the ones that are available. The SC3, the SC6, the SC8. Again. So, that's that. Get yourself a Callet mouthpiece, uh, preferably for my causes, the 1SB, but as you know, I do not accept a student unless they're playing a Callet mouthpiece. Take a lesson or two, buy a book, and play your double C's in the Arvin. Anyway, that's it. Love you all, guys. Eat and drink your fruits and vegetables and live your life with true power. I've got over a dozen people doing the juice cleanse, guys. And the, 
and the feedback is is amazing absolutely amazing it's changing people's lives and they've been on it for three four days a week changing people's lives anyway that's on the other channel true power sports fitness love you all